Got another question mm-hmm. coming in on YouTube. Uh, what benefits uh, does what benefits does the DP um, without WD uh, Pixie without the WDS role? Basically, um, what are the benefits of that? In what case would you recommend to use the WDS less option? Yeah. So uh, to give a little bit of background on that one, uh, let me go to one of my site servers here. Um, so on your distribution points, uh, in the technical preview, Microsoft actually has three different Pixie responders, but in the released current branch product, there is only two. Uh, one that is based on Windows deployment services and one that is not. And this option here is the one you select when you want to use uh, the one that is not. And a benefit of doing that is that it's more it's a very much more lightweight service than, uh, than WDS is because WDS is actually a pretty big uh, infrastructure for being a Pixie server because they can do other things. They can do multicast, they can do imaging and other things. So the WDS less Pixie server doesn't support multicast, but very few people are using it uh, these days. But it can also be installed on clients. And it doesn't break when Microsoft decides to patch something in Windows because it's uh, maintained by the config money team and not the Windows team like WDS is. There were some incidents uh, two years ago where Microsoft managed to break it twice in uh, in three months' time, which was pretty impressive. But uh, for those people that had to redo all their distribution points uh, quickly to solve the problem, they were not so impressed. So I, I, I recommend starting with this one. Uh, if you set up, uh, if, if you need, if you're using Microsoft Pixie servers, the WDS less one is, in my opinion, better than the one that is based on WDS. So, long answer to a short question. And and, and the way it shows up on the DP, uh, it will show up as a different service. So it will no longer say Config Manager is going to be this responder here in my. Uh, DP right now, I just stopped it because I was testing some other Pixie servers on the same subnet. And when you have multiple Pixie servers on the same subnet, they have a tendency to argue with each other. So, but of course, normally this, it should be just started and running here. Uh, the cool thing about it, it's using the same log file, SMS Pixie log file, and it's using the same Pixie tweaks that the old one used. So uh, uh, let's see here. Um, uh, Jurgen, if you need a Jurgen in your life, Mr. Jurgen Nilsson, he have a good post on TFTP configurations. Pretty sure he spent a couple of minutes testing uh, this this one. Uh, if you want to sh- share my screen, Johan, I have it up. All right, I will thank you. Hmm. That's the one. Uh, so a few years back, Jorgen spent some time with a stopwatch and were testing different block size settings and window settings and basically how they affected boot time. And the WDS less picture provider also honors these. Uh, our usual go-to setting is 8K for block size and 2 for window size. That seems to be like a happy medium that most hardware is happy with, but that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Right here. So, yeah, that's the one. Good stuff. 